Uh, you know, when I went to boot this game up, the last thing I was expecting to see was a massive anime opening. Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome to Soldiers. Uh, give me just a moment, because this is really loud in my ears. Much better. So, Soldiers. This is a game that I only very recently heard about, and as you can see, it's also very recently came out, from what I can tell. All I know about it is it is apparently like a... It's a very difficult Metroidvania-type game with, like, some Souls elements in it. So... I don't know, just... I heard what it was like. I saw a very brief bit of what the gameplay looked like, and I was like, okay, I'm sold, I'm doing this. And I just really wanted to play it, so I figured, why not play it here? So with that, let's just get started. Alright, new game, of course. Oh, okay, we have game modes. We have Explorer, Soldier, and Warrior. So, looks like this is a difference between easy, medium, and a hard. I never learn, do I? You will be able to change the game mode, but this will disable some achievements. I, yeah. If I need to change the... Okay, it's good that it gives me the option to change game mode if I need to later on down the line. Zarga, one of the three nations that rule the continent of Asil. Within the castle walls, the Royal Council debates the best strategy for the coming war. After a few hours of deliberating, the king and his war council are about to conclude their meeting. Is that clear? We shall follow the positioning set by General Brigade to the letter. That will be all. You may leave. The council members leave their seats and ready themselves to leave the chamber. Arxel, sorcerer and advisor to the king, leads the way to the door when, suddenly... One moment, Your Majesty. Yes, something the matter with the plan. Actually, I'd like to propose a change of strategy. Waiting in this grotto is so boring. I prefer General Brickard's initial strategy, taking part in the action alongside the others. Soldiers, stand firm! You should have more faith in Oxdale's wisdom. His council has guaranteed Zaga's victory on multiple occasions. Now be sure they don't see you. The Delm's army will be marching down the hill any moment. <sighs> yes, General. Ah! An earthquake? All of a sudden, an earthquake leaves them trapped between the mountain slopes, plunging them into the darkness. Before their very eyes, a glowing beam appears, bathing the dark cave in its light. Like something out of a dream, a being emerges and starts to speak. And now we're loading. <laughs> okay, so there's a war going on. The wizard decided to change the plans at the last minute, and the general soldiers of the army don't seem to like it. That's what I've gathered so far. And now there's a freaking angel here to let us out of a cave. Oh, brave warriors who have fallen in the heat of battle! Who are you? Is this your doing? I am a Valkyrie. We are the king of the fallen. We serve to perpetuate their existence beyond this world. You must accompany me. Now what? Valkyries really do exist. I thought they were just a legend. Silence! There must be a mistake, Valkyrie. We are still alive and will join the rest of our army when we get out of here. Get out of here? Listen to me carefully, mortals. We are gifted with the knowledge of life and death. I can see in the palm of my hand how the lifeline that ties you to this world ended when you became trapped. It is not only rocks and earth that separate you from the outside. There is something else more powerful than any attempt you can make to escape. 
Maybe you're unaware, but we have a grand sorcerer among our ranks who could- I see you still do not understand your situation. There is no one here with the power you suggest. My mere presence excludes all possibility of doubt. You must accompany me. Your destiny lies here no longer. Is she really a Valkyrie? It could be a witch! What will happen if we don't go with you? In that case, I will leave. You will never see me again, and those who decide to stay will fade into dust with the passage of time. Take the deal! Take the deal, Brigard! Alright. Listen to me, everyone. No one expected it to end like this, but we have run out of options. I'm going in. Good boy, Brigard! Reva, I will not be able to keep my promise. May the gods help Saga. I'm guessing Brigard is going to be our protagonist. If a general has entered, I will follow him. Yes, he has never failed us. General Brigard, wait, we stand with you. Oh, I have a choice. So I can be a scout, an archer, or a caster. Okay, hang on. So, I, I read something about this that you can choose different classes. So scouts have bounce, attack, and defense. They can use their shield to absorb several blows while unleashing quick combos with their sword. Okay, so they have decent health and stamina. No magic. Then we have the archer, who seems to be the most balanced overall, but not that strong. They base their strategy around ranged attacks and agile mo mobility. They can shoot arrows from afar while throwing their bow like a boomerang to quickly recover them. Okay. And then the caster. Using magic as their main source of power, they're able to cause major damage if they know how to wait and time their movements well. I... Uh, I kind of want to do a caster. I like the sound of that more. Let's go! So, I can only go left and right. Let's go in! It's like, yeah, because that screen looked kind of isometric, but this is definitely just a side-scroller. As is much more evident here. So, we went through the beam of light, and now we're somewhere, and I'm in the game proper! So, that's my regular attack. I can... Okay. Oh, okay, so... Up on the top right there, I can see I got that meter of my staff there. When I push Y, it does that blast, and then it's in recharge mode. Okay, so yeah, I have to wait until that meter turns blue before I can do that. I gotta scare these birds. West, Sibuna Desert, East, Spider Lair. Okay, so if I pause, looks like I also have some kind of element thing. Fire, water, sand, electricity, and wind? I don't think I've ever seen a game that has the element of sand over the element of earth. We got the Sorcerer's Rod. Raj has arcane energy released as discharges, and the bishop's talisman used by casters to project protective shields around them. Ooh, okay. That's all I can really do. I got 35 hit points, 30 armor, I'm going to assume, 50 mana, maybe? 8 attack. I don't have anything with those elements, and I have no XP. I need 100 to level up. So I do have levels in this game. That's good. And I have no money. Oh, wait a minute. So notice the, but the bumpers up there. So, potions, vials, items, accessories, bombs, and weapons. All right. Okay. I get it. Oh, and we got ourselves a bestiary of sorts. Interesting. So, we're going to get a lot of stuff. What, let's say about Arxel. Because he was the one that changed our plans. I'm starting to wonder about him already. Most powerful sorcerer in all of Asil. His experience and wisdom... Powerful assets in his position as the king of Zargas, most faithful advisor, are beyond all doubt. When he devotes his life to teaching the art of magic, no people of his has ever come close to his level of mastery. Not even Serfiel, his brightest student, could even dream of competing against him. Okay, so hang on. Let's go to this back part. Wait. His powers began to develop as far back as his days in the cradle. Okay, so he was basically a magic prodigy from a baby. It was a sudden last-minute change to the chosen strategy of dealing with the Delm's army, leading half of Zargas troops to hide under the mountains. Which is where everybody died. Got it. Casters spend most of their lives studying the powers of nature around them, attempting to understand how to extract and produce magic. In their case, linking experience with age is inevitable. 
Magic is hard to control, but it seems that Terragaya's energies make these powers flow in unimaginable ways. So Terragaya is definitely their like home world, their 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 Earth, which is kind of funny because even though the word it, it's spelled a little bit off, it's literally supposed to be a combination of Terra and Gaia, so like Earth nature. I kind of like that. That that's that's clever. The Rider Squad. So we have the Scout and the Archer and the Caster, which are our classes. Then we have the Rider, Slayer, and Ironclad. These are like other classes that we don't get. So the Zargus Rider Squad consists of fast using units used either to attack, flank, or scout. Effective soldiers often control the movement with any of the long spears. Donning such traits, Terragaya has bound them to creatures that they will be able to ride and flourish in combat. Slayers are the latest additions in their ranks. Ex convicts given a second chance. Interesting. So they're like rogues. And the Ironclad, which are very much, like, tanks. So, is it possible to, like, get an advanced class or something? That's what that sounds like to me. Also, hang on, what's the X button? Oh, you can see their sprite. You can see their portrait and their sprite. That's neat. That's what his sprite's gonna look like. And, of course, we've already seen hers. And, yeah, we don't... There's a lot of characters. And then we have... Oh, okay, so... I was right about the Golden Cross being mana points. The shield is stamina. The red triangle is ammo shards. And the arrow thing is maximum arrows, which we're probably not going to end up using. Elemental attacks. So fire has a chance to cause a burned state. Sand can blind. Water can freeze. Wind can bleed. Ooh. And electric can paralyze. That's cool. And, of course, elemental defenses defend against them. Status ailment. So there's a stun, which leaves them immobile for a bit. Poison, damage over time. Bleeding, which is a damage over time that increases significantly enter the state again before healing. Ooh, that's interesting. Asleep. Okay. Blind, where attacks will miss. Ugh. Silence makes it impossible to use secondary weapons and skills. Which I guess in my case would be like, I can use the X attack to um, smack with my stick, but I can't do the burst thing. That's what that reads to me. Confused, makes it impossible to move normally. Okay. Burned, another damage over time effect. Frozen, block of ice, got it. Paralyzed, randomly shocks you, hindering your movements, ugh. Petrified, which is basically frozen again, but for stone instead of ice. And curse, attack is decreased, damage taken is increased, and healing effects are halved. Okay, so curse is bad. Gotta keep an eye out for that. Death cursed, kill the enemy that cursed you four times run out or die. I kind of like that, that's neat. And immobilized, an enemy attack will incapacitate you, preventing you from moving. Press any button repeatedly to break free. Got it. Oh, wait, there was one more. Oh, that's options. All right, I'll, I'll mess with the options maybe a little bit in between parts. I've, I've spent enough time in menus. Let's start exploring. I can't explore that way. Let's start exploring this way. So, this is going to be heading east. Actually, wait. I want to push one more button here. No, okay. I tried pushing, like, back to see if I could open up a map or something, but it appears I do not have a map at this time. Valkyrie? Welcome, brave warrior. I am Leantris, matriarch of the Valkyries. Forget everything you thought you knew. Your battles, your friends. You are now in a very different place from whence you came. This world is ruled by a worldly god, a guardian who awaits your arrival and that of your allies. Your mission will be to find him, but it will not be easy. If you succeed, you will pass into the next plane where you'll be named a champion in the great battle of the gods, Ragnarok, and be granted unimaginable powers. Tell me, soldier, are you ready to obey Gory beyond your life in this world? Find the Guardian, and with him, your place. So we're literally preparing for Ragnarok? I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised considering there's Valkyries involved, but that... I didn't see that coming. I'm really glad now that I've only seen, like, snippets of what the gameplay looks like and don't know anything about the story. Because that caught me off guard. This place don't seem so different from the fields back home, does it? Um, uh, I guess not. We've got no way of reaching General Brigard. We started to have a look at the perimeter, but I'd much rather have been in this regiment, that's for certain. That's nice. Okay, so... Can I make this jump? Oh, whoa. 
Wait, hold on. How did I make that? Wait, can I wall jump? Cause like, I, I can't double jump. I just, I need to experiment. I can't really wall jump. So why does it let me do it here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I can cling the ledges. That's what it is. Got it. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. What did I just do? Well, I discovered a new thing by pushing uh, B. I do that. Oh, and I decided to push the buttons again. So this is what I do when I hit left bumper. I guess that's the shield. And I can shield, dash, and right back into shield. Okay, that's good to know. I'll have to remember that I can do that. Hmm. I can do it. It's not that high. Okay. Better plan your jumps if you don't want to fall down here like me. Taking a leap right at the last second. I right, just do it. Okay, so this is teaching me jumps. There we go. Gotta realize how long I hold the jump button affects things. So that's an enemy. Ow. First enemy and I already got hurt. Got it. So these guys... Yeah, they are not safe. They, like... They, like, project spikes. They're like little needle curbies. So, the way that is looking, like, is when I... Wh oh, wait a minute. Oh! Okay, okay. I was, I was about to say, it looks like I'm not hitting it with my staff. It looks like I'm shooting a projectile. That's because I was. I just didn't realize it. Hello. The trough of these platforms doesn't seem too steep. Shouldn't be hard to climb up and down them. I agree. Ah! Shield! Oh! Don't let your stamina bar. If it empties, it'll be a while before you can defend yourself again. I just now noticed... Yeah, like, I noticed right before it said that. My stamina bar on the top there. Okay. So that... That shield bar... That there's a reason it looks like a shield. It's because it's used to determine my guarding. Got it. Climbing down, jumping, blocking. What's all this then? Some sort of testing ground? Uh, yes, actually. That is exactly what this appears to be. I got a health potion. So it's part of my health bar. I can press up on the D-pad to use a health potion. Great! I'm actually not very happy about that. For the simple reason that up on the D-pad for my controller is, uh... A little broken. <laughs> Doesn't always work right. Uh, hello. Huh? You seem a bit clueless. Come on, you heard that, Valkyrie. We've got work to do. Snap out of it! Though if you're on this road, that means you're assigned to the group tasked with exploring the cave. The rest are way ahead. As you can see, this is no joke, so wake up and open your eyes, because this place is full of disgusting creatures like that one. Anyway, I'm off. I've wasted too much time on you already. Do yourself a favor and try not to lag behind. I like her attitude. So, let's, uh, progress onward into this cave, I guess. Um, hi? What the heck are you? Some kind of hyena man monster? I got a knoll? I'm, I'm thinking you're some kind of knoll. Oh, that did, oh, geez. Well, that just happened. Nice start, huh? I'm getting the sense that was scripted. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to win that fight. Luckily for you, that creature was noisy enough to grab my attention. Don't thank me. Better if I don't have to save your skin ever again. What's wrong? Don't you know how to dodge and block enemy attacks? You know, I don't know anything about this place either. What do I what I do know is that if you don't learn how to move, you won't last longer than a loose coin in the slums of Zarga. The sooner you realize that, the better. Go on, get moving. I'll keep an eye out around here. Okay, maybe it wasn't necessarily scripted, but it was expected. I think it was at least expected for you to lose. But possible to win. The way that she worded that saying, don't you know how to block and move is like, yeah. That's what that sounds like to me. 
Let's go a little farther. This is the spider lair. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha! They just saved us from being buried alive in one cave and we've ended up in another. Yeah. Funny how life works, huh? Ooh, a campfire. We ain't dead. Why have we ended up here? That Valkyrie was talking about some power or something like it, right? Nasty looking place. We supposed to start our grand mission somewhere as creepy as here. I can't believe we've ended up here. What'll happen to Zaga with all of its army gone? I think if Ragnarok's happening, uh, what happens in that war with Zarga and the Delm is the least of their concerns. There are already several groups of soldiers exploring this cave. We're getting ready to inspect this area. Oh. Statue thingy makes me all strong again. Feel it too? Um. Oh! I was wondering how saving worked in this game. So it's used on these gargoyle statue thingamabobs. Well, you know what? I spent a good bit of time reading stuff, but I think this is a good place to stop for the moment. So, next time on Soldiers, we're gonna start exploring this spider cave. I am slightly regretting my decision of the difficulty setting, but, well, I, I still stand by, I think that that first monster, that Knoll thing was meant to murder your face. We'll see though. Either way, I'm looking forward to what comes next. Thank y'all so much for watching.